All right, here you go, guys. This is uh, um, something I bought recently directly from Corsair. Now, I wasn't going to buy something as expensive as this, but I need it and I'm future proofing my uh, computer. So I'll show you the unboxing over first to see what I've bought. And this is basically a power supply, a white version uh, power supply. So it's an ATX uh, a C, a PSU power supply, white version. And I'll go through the model in a second when I open it up for you. So I'll just do the unboxing. I've already got it. it comes in a little packaging and tucked away. And then it, this is the baby. Unlike this. Now it's been a long time since I bought the other one as I purchased last time. Let me just get the box away somewhere. Here you go, the RM850. The reason for me buying this for a few reasons I have actually, let me just go through with you. One of the reasons is um, I've got a 750 watt power supply that I got from Germany, I think it delivered, and I've got I've done a review of that before as well, which is sufficient for my system. But I'm slowly upgrading my graphics card and um, it requires a lot of power. This power supply is 850 watt and it's fully modular and I want it in white. Now, looking for a white one was difficult because it goes with my case. And normally I think this was worth quite a lot of money. Actually. Let me just have a look on their website directly. It's how much I paid for it. Initially it was supposed to be, I was quite fortunate because I was 134 pound. And you get the black version slightly cheaper, but I wanted the white one, so I went for the white one. It's 134.99, and I think it got delivered from Hong Kong. It came in about a few days, three, four days. And I, with a bit of discount code, quick Google search, I got it for £121.49, which is a lot of money for power supply. And I could have gone for other cheaper brand where they can give me 1,000 watts, 750, 850, 800, uh, for like 40, 50 quid. Um, but over the times I've been doing a lot of research and um, from seeing a lot of other people buying cheaper power supply, it didn't last long. It wasn't, uh, the feature wasn't good and uh, it didn't actually produce the watches they start. So I went for a branded uh, uh, product Corsair, which they're very well known. It's got 10 years guarantee on this, which is brilliant. It's at 80 plus gold. Now, there was another product I found that was very similar to 850, but it was a bronze. So I think, you know what, for extra £10, I'm getting a gold. Um, and I think there was another brand, I can't remember the name, which is £139 without any discount for 850. Um, but I thought Corsair, it would go quite well with what I've already had. Most of my other stuff, so Corsair, like fans and stuff, it might be quite good. Now, let's do the unboxing. So now I've given the reason, and I'll also do a video. Hope it did a video where I uninstall my old PSU and put this one on. So, so let's unbox this and see what it comes with. So my plan is to basically the other power supply I have, there is a bit of fault with the wiring they came with. Slightly the wiring, the sleeve slightly opened up, and also with the heavy usage of gaming and stuff, it has started to make a lot of um noise the fan just can't cope with the heat this producing um so i am getting that sent back as soon as i've installed this so i had to replace it i mean they're going to give me a replacement i presume uh, which is fine um i can probably put that onto my other computer that i have uh, which would be more than what the other computer needs so unboxing this is quite strange where it does start so it looks like I thought that would be that complicated just to unbox something, isn't it? Wow, okay. This must be the bottom, this must be the top. So you must just, just... What is going on here? Look at this unbox. This is... Oh God, I'm going to have to pause it and work it out and I'll come back to you in a second. This, I'm finding out to even unbox the box. Where does it start? So this is the top. So this must be the top. It must come off somehow. I have figured it out. Sorry about this. The side. It comes out of the side. And then... Very well... I thought it would come out of this side as well, but it's not. So it just comes out long ways. Very usually it would be like box opening that way, but it comes out that way. So this is an unboxing. Corsair RM850. You can also get 750 as it says on there. So the you know, manual is there. 
important information. Well, I might as well read that one for you guys to death with this reading. Um, okay, it comes in a lot of languages. I suppose more of a warning than anything else. So I'll leave that on the side. I mean, you can always find out the technical data from their website and, you know, a high performance ATX power supply. It's supposed to be a quiet one. And uh, one good feature on this is until it heats up a certain temperature or something I hear, that's when you, the fan will kick in. So it is a bit more quieter. Very well packaged. So this side here. And it is a UK plug that it comes with, which is brilliant. Downside. No need for that. Cable ties as standard. Yep, so this side. Ooh, comes in a bag. Now this will be interesting. So I'm gonna put this aside for a second and I'll come back to that in a minute. But let's just show you the product itself. All right, I can't tell you the weight, but I'm sure you can put this quite easily find out on their website what this weighs. <clears throat> All right, um, strip of the thing. Now that's the empty box, so I'm gonna put it aside. So let's unwrap this. This, however, doesn't have, like my last one did, this doesn't have any RGB lighting or any fancy stuff. It's just literally plain white. Uh, I've got a little uh, cutout on the side of my case. I'll show you that when I put it all in and it will just show white more than the white it's got right now. It's black and um, right, it's got the LED lights and stuff that just comes on inside. A bit fancy, but I'm, I'm not looking for fancy. I'm looking for quality with plenty of power for what I need it for. Uh, I'm thinking of which is very hard to get nowadays um, with the current situation with everything that's going on around the world as well as the need for GPU and I can't get hold of the GPU that I really want. I want the Founders Edition. If anybody's watching this video and um, can get me a Founders Edition uh, RTX 3070 is what I'm after. I'll be really grateful because I can't get hold of it anywhere at all. And I like the Founders Edition, edition and that's what I want for the, my machine. I'm just waiting for when they come back in stock. Now, just a quick advice, I know I'm doing an unboxing of this, but the reason for me buying this is to match it up with my um, GPU I'm planning to buy. Um, just to let you know, um, recently the price of uh, GPU's gone up and there's shortage of it around the world for various reasons and so forth, you'll quite easily find out in the media. Um, but what I found out is a lot of people are selling them for a very high price and I've noticed the 3070 that's on nvidia website uh is going for i think 480 for something like that i mean very it's not that expensive but they're selling these 3070s for like thousand pound or more in ebay's and all sorts of places so i'm just holding on till it comes back in stock maybe a year's time <laughs> and then or less than a year i'm hoping to be honest and then buy it then currently i've got the 16 uh, 60 Ti overclocking version of Asus with one fan and I'm really unhappy with the fact that he hits about I can't play on 1440 uh, uh, on my new screen and I have to put it up to 1080p because as soon as I put anything higher or put it to max of any kind it hits the temperature of 90 something degrees and I try to bring that I've got other videos trying to keep it cool um, but you know it's not working so that's why I'm going to upgrade that's one of the reasons and this is where this comes in handy now looking at this, uh, there's plenty of airflow coming out. I've seen a lot of them, they sort of block this area off just for power supply, but it's got plenty of air coming out because I think we'll suck the air in that way and cool it off by bringing the hot air out. Um, inside, I mean, I can't, can't tell you much about it. Uh, I like the way it sort of finishes off. I actually thought this bit here was a part of, but it's not, it's just a little grill and it somehow fits from underneath. Normally you can just unscrew it so it's underneath. I would never recommend taking one of these apart. Um, and peripherals that it comes with, and you can probably just about see it there now. Six by two, 24 pins out. Let's go on with the other bit. I'll put this to the side here to see the, um, what's in this case. All right, this is fancy. It comes in a bag. And the reason, I, one of the reasons I bought this particular one is because of the white power cables and uh, stuff and it will match my white case brilliantly that's one of the reasons I know you can buy them separately to connect it up but it's just so expensive to get these, get these sort of things uh, and I'm looking forward to this so it comes with all the connectors that you probably need and more 
oh, I like this, this is completely sleeved up, which is really good because normally these things, and that's another reason, um, I'll show you a video later on uh, in my channel, uh, what I've noticed in my previous one that I bought, just here, where it connects into, you can quite easily take this apart, by the way, um, it's sort of split, the casing has come off, leaving exposed live wires, and that's one of the reasons, I think because I, uh, um, took it apart a few times to rewire and stuff and, it, and uh, that's where it caused the problem maybe but it shouldn't have done that because I had power supplies before it never did that but these are much more thicker sleeves on top of these you get these as well which I mean it's brilliant and it's fully modular which is, uh, I really like I just got the old stuff oh that's good some and on, on the other ones they tend to have the SATA and the old version of it as well sort of mixed in together but this has got completely separate so I may not be using much of those because of the new technology but it's got two of these two satas three more connectors for the motherboard and the last one another one of those okay so what have we got here PCIe oh it's labeled that's good didn't notice that CPU, and if you can see it, PCIe, two of those, and PCIe. So I'm hoping one of those will be right to my GPU. Brilliant. To the motherboard, and this is CPU that I've probably shown it already. So this is what you get, and don't forget this. And don't forget the cable ties. So my first impression of this item that I bought, I like it. I really like it. The build quality, of course, so you can see straight away. It's no others. I've seen other videos where they bought cheaper items and it didn't really work out well. Um, and this is my opinion to go for this. And now when I do my rebuilding on my PC using this power source, um, I will probably go through sorting out my cable management because right now if you look at it I'm ashamed to show it to you guys but I'll show it to you anyway when I do the video it is terrible so this is a new start for me to do a proper cable management at the back but the case that I have it's very hard to do a cable management at the back and it's been said uh, by other reviewers as well but I'm going to do my best to get that sorted out oh it comes with a Corsair powered by Corsair I might stick these on I do like these stickers so metal stickers I can put onto things. So that's good. Power by Corsair. All right. Thank you very much for watching this unboxing. Uh, I know I went on a bit, um, but wish me luck because I'm really looking for a founder's edition of the GPU. Um, and I'm pleading on YouTube to get me if somebody can help out with those for the good price. I don't want to pay extortion amount uh, uh, of GPU prices right now. It's just gone up in the, you know, way up. Um, and I can't afford it. This is probably the most expensive th uh, part that I bought recently for my PC and It's simply never-ending you see those videos of people building their machines for 500 pound and it's good But I seem to be always like trying to get stuff for good price good quality stuff and it works out to be a lot more So my current budget sort of now shot up to where I spent 1200 on my machine uh, with this probably gone up by another hundred quid um, yeah, so it doesn't end, uh, I'm afraid, and uh, I do like to perfect the quality of things, so that's why I'm probably going wrong, not sticking to what I already have, and it does work fine. Anyway, thank you very much, um, and uh, I'll show you the next part of my video, I'm hoping to uh, install this into my machine that I already have, so take care.